Good evening, this is John, your host on MGTOW is Freedom. I hope you've all had a great day. I have. Why? Because I have the penis. I'm the man. I woke up this morning, looked in the mirror and said, thank God you're a man. You can go out and make your day what it is. I want to start by saying, you know, this channel is about MGTOW, men going their own way. It's about reaffirming the idea that it's good to be a man, that there's no reason to apologize, that you never ever need to feel guilty for being what you are. You know, MGTOW is something special. In a world full of chaos and stupidity, it's unique. Because not only do you get to determine reality, you get to believe the reality, right? It's up to you, right? And this channel in particular, I think, and probably many of them, uh, I, I like a lot of the different channels because everyone has a unique way of presenting the information. And um, I like to talk about information and I also like to encourage. I like to let men know, you can be a man fucking quit apologizing for it. Quit hiding in the cracks. Go out and battle these fucking whores in public. Right? You don't have to take their shit anymore. It's just, it's incredible. One of the things I liken the game that bitches play, that gold digging whores play, it's, it's an old game. It can be played hunting, it can be played with your enemy on the battlefield, and it's certainly played by women. But unlike, um, let's talk about hunting. You see the bear, right? The bear sees you. You're staring at each other. You've got to kill the bear to get the cave, right? You're the fucking man, right? And the bear's thinking the same thing. Fuck, I got to kill this guy. Can I run? You know, should I fight him? Will I win? Right? And you're weighing this. It's a real battle. It's a battle of wits. It's a battle of muscle, right? The mind and the body. Same with meeting a man on the battlefield, another man, right? You size each other up. You see if he's got what you want, right? It's a battle, right? You're enemies and it's real, right? He can kill you. You can kill him or you can go shake hands and become allies. But when it comes to women, they can't win. They can't fucking win, guys. The bear can kill you and eat you just as quick as you can kill and eat the bear. The enemy, a male, a man, your enemy can kill you. Or you can kill him or you can become allies or friends. The woman, on the other hand, the feminist whore, she can't beat you. She can't do a fucking thing to you. It's up to you to decide if you want to defeat her or walk away and you can't be a feminist friend unlike the man on the battlefield you can size each other up and go kill him or work with him you know you get to fucking think about it and you can benefit either way or you can die with the woman you can't die there's nothing to be afraid of you can't fucking die what a fucking great enemy to have they can't fucking win unless you let them and you can choose to keep him as a friend or an ally, but I can't think of a single fucking feminist on this planet that I want as a friend or I want to dare to have as an ally that I want anywhere fucking near me. Listen. <laughs> I don't hear any fucking whores. It is beautifully quiet. Every now and then the occasional car driving by or the aerial vehicle overhead. Maybe the gentle breeze of the wind through the fucking trees. But no screeching harpies. Right? So, what is it that happens to men? That women defeat them. How was I defeated? You know, um, I think one of the cool parts about me doing this is, is I was married. I had kids. Right? I saw what was going on. I saw how the games played. I battled it for years. And the only way you can be defeated is if you quit, if you give in. And the only real tool women have is the bluff. 
That's right, guys. Women only have the bluff. They have titties. They have pussies. If you like them, they have nice faces, right? A lot of times I look at them and go, you're a fucking clown. You're a painted up whore. Get the fuck out of my face. But some I go, you know, there's just no way to deny it. That fucking whore is beautiful. But she's still a whore. Oh, single malt is the way to go. Single malt scotch. That is what's going on in this fucking game, guys. They really can't do anything to you. The only time the woman can defeat you is if you let her win. If you give in to her. The only real weapon she has is the bluff. Now, she has tools. Right? The pussy, titties, the face, the ass, whatever it is that turns you on. But they don't really have a weapon. Their best weapon is bluff. They use guilt. They use shame. Right? They tell you you don't get to have any more titties or pussy. But that's, that's bluff. That's just a bluff. You call their bluff, and they're fucking done. The only weapon they have is the bluff. That's it. And it's not a real weapon. Right? Could you call it a tool? A technique? It's really nothing, though. It, it's as if you are a rhinoceros and someone's shooting pebbles at you with a pea shooter or a slingshot. Right? It's barely an annoyance. But it can be an annoyance, right? That bluff. That's how they get you. They get you wanting something. They try hooking you with that pussy. Yeah, hook, hook, hook. Right? Like that's going to be it. And if you give in to it, and then they demand something, and you take it, right? You take what they have, and then you give in to their demand. And you take what they have and give in to the demand. Pretty soon they say, hey, if you don't give me what I want, I'm taking back that pussy. I'm taking back those titties. That's a fucking bluff. Right? If you're worth having... She has no fucking way. There's no way she should ever take that away from you. If she does, then it's obvious she's using it as a hook. It's obvious she's prostituting herself. So therefore, it's obvious to assume she's a fucking whore. A gold-digging harlot. A screeching harpy with a vagina. Not worth having. Right? The moment they try bluffing you, you know it's over. Done. There's the fucking door. Get out. But that's the tool they got. They can try that guilt. They can try some shame. But they don't really have anything until they try the bluff. And it's not like that bear or lion or saber-toothed fucking tiger that's going to chew your caveman ass up. It's not like the enemy on the battlefield that's going to fucking run you through with the spear. The bear can literally kill you. Same with the lion or any other wild animal. The man, your real adversary, can really kill you. There isn't a fucking thing women can really do to you. All they can do is take themselves out. Fuck, they're kamikaze morons with lipstick. <laughs> fucking whores, Jesus. The shit they almost get us with, right? The shit they almost get us with. My fucking stupid ex. And I know, Joe, you're like, don't talk about her, man. Don't talk about her, John. She's just digging it. Right? She doesn't get to me. That's the cool part. Right? If I was, like, mad at her, like, I hate that bitch. That fucking whore stole my life. You know, fuck you, you dumb bitch. Right? I'm talking about her, and I'm having a laugh at her fucking expense. And any of her friends that are listening, or co-workers, or anybody that knows her, they get to hear my fucking opinions about the matter. On top of all my other MGTOW opinions. And if they're women, then fuck them. What do I care? Right, like I'm going to go date my ex's fucking girlfriends? Get the fuck out of here, you dumb whores. Right? Stupid. All right. <laughs> so what do they got? The bluff. Right? The fucking caveman will kill another caveman. A bear will kill you. Women got nothing. Right, my ex would say, that's it. And she'd put her hands on her hips. You're on the couch tonight. And I'd go, are you out of your fucking mind on the couch? What is this, Ozzy and Harriet? Leave it to Beaver? Fuck you. You go to the couch. 
I'm six foot six, 275 pounds. I'm the man. I have the penis. It's my fucking bed. I'm sleeping in it. Right? 